that much at the time. So I told him if he can uh, please uh, bring me uh, a Quran. Because I hear this book has got so many things that people are so afraid of it, you know. They, they're so terrified of this Quran that it's going to brainwash you and all of this. So I asked him to bring me a Quran. And I wanted to read this for myself. And then so two weeks went by and he came by with this book and uh, the Holy Quran and then he brought it to me. You had the translation of the Quran. Oh yeah, I had the translation, yes. And then uh, uh, it had, on one side he gave me the Arabic and then on the other side he gave me the translation in English. Because he asked me either in Spanish or in English. I said English should be fine. I speak both languages anyway. Yeah. So uh, I took it home and I told him before I even took it home, I told him how much I owe. And he goes, it's nothing. He says, a gift. Take it with you. So there was a, uh, this was a Thursday night. And, uh, and I began to wonder about this book. And I said, well, let me see how this book people are talking about. So I read it. And, and it hit me. It just hit me right there and then. It just opened the first page. And it was the Surah Al-Fatiha. And I read in the... In first the, chapter. The first chapter. There opens the Quran. And I just read the, the, the title on top where it says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, which means, In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most beneficent. So, so in the name of God, the mm -hmm. most gracious, the most merciful, and right there, the yes. author is not so and so or so and so or Johnny or Tommy or Mike or... Yeah, Mark, or according to this or according, according to, to that. that. It's identifying that... It's from God Almighty. This is, uh, it's, it's confirming something that I never saw before in any, uh, in any of the Bibles. Because all the Bibles, uh, if you can notice, they're being revised. And why are they revising? I don't, I don't know, have no reason. But I, I would talk, that's another topic. Yeah. But uh, when I read this, it just it hit me. And so this is the reason why I did my research. And then when I started asking questions about Islam... Uh, I got the answers that I never got through uh, asking the Christians about the reasons why this was not making any sense to me. But Islam made the most sense to me. And, and by I say, by the grace of Allah, I'm here. And this is the truth. And if you want to know why I'm saying the truth, because a lot of, the, a lot of religion says they have the truth. But Islam tells, also says they have the truth, but it also brings facts with it. Backs it up with evidence. Backs it up with We're evidence. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back on the Dean Show. While it is told in the Qur'an that it is easy for God to bring man to life after death, the fingerprint of man is particularly emphasized. Yes, we are able to put together in perfect order the very tips of his fingers. The emphasis on fingerprints has a very special meaning. This is because everyone's fingerprint is unique to himself. Every person who is alive or who has ever lived in this world has a set of unique fingerprints. That is why fingerprints are accepted as a very important identity card exclusive to its owner and used for this purpose around the world. But what is important is that this feature of the fingerprint was only discovered in the late 19th century. Before then, people regarded fingerprints as ordinary curves without any specific importance or meaning. However, in the Quran, God points to the fingertips which did not attract anyone's attention at that time and calls our attention to their importance, an importance that could only be understood in our age. Thank you, thank you for tuning in to The Dean Show, the all-new show on Islam and Muslims, helping you develop a better understanding. And we have Jorge Garcia. Yeah, Jorge Garcia. Jorge Garcia. So, we left off on evidence. Right. What is some of the overwhelming evidence that really caught your attention and had you step over to submission and surrender to God? Well, in the, in the Quran, it mentions scientific facts that, you know, that didn't happen at the time. There, there was no scientific evidence at the time of, of the Prophet Sallallahu uh, Alaihi Wasallam. Like, for instance, uh, you know, you're looking at uh, astrology. It's talking about uh, uh, an ocean. There's two oceans, and there's a river between two oceans. They're assaulted, but in the middle of these two oceans, it's a, it's a river that runs between... A bar barrier-like? A barrier-like. Yeah. It's not salted, but it's clear water. It's like, uh, you know, from a river, but it's not mixing with the two other oceans. 
You're talking about mountains that have roots uh, embedded into the earth. So like that pegs. Yeah, like.